talk about isolation transformers and why we need an isolation transformer. Sometimes with an isolation transformer you have noise which is uh, coming down the 240 volt line and you want to isolate that because of the um, you don't want it coupling into the secondary. So what you do is you have an isolation transformer which has got a screen and that will take care of what we call the common mode noise. The, the fact that the screen also forms not only a noise um, uh, decoupler but it also adds extra safety because it is a screen between the input winding, the primary, and the output winding, which is the secondary. Now, the other reason that you will use an isolation transformer in particular is when you're doing testing. So if you're doing troubleshooting and you're using a piece of equipment and you're measuring uh, high voltage or if you're measuring uh, between, you're using a cathode ray oscilloscope and you're measuring between voltages, if you don't have a isolation transformer, the, the circuit breaker will blow because you'll have a short when you connect the earth terminal of the of the um, the uh, cathode ray oscilloscope onto the point of where you're measuring. So in this particular case here, we're doing some measurements here on a VFD circuit, whereby we're measuring in between voltages, and we're able here and here to use the crow, but we're only able to use the crow to measure the voltage because we've got an isolation transformer. Otherwise, normally that terminal there, which is the earth terminal, is connected, would, would, would blow the circuit breaker. In this case, we're measuring between voltages and now that earth terminal is floating. So here, you can see that the transformer is turned on. You can see that there's no earth on the output side of the transformer. However, the input earth is connected to the screen in between the transformer. And there's some of the main features of an isolation transformer. At Tortec we do a variety of isolation transformers up to and including 2000 VA, which is typically about 8 amps rated. Over here, over here you can see how we're able to do the measurements on the, oscill on the, oscill on the oscilloscope and we're able to measure voltages between points, which you normally wouldn't be able to do if you, um, if you didn't have the isolation transformer. Okay?